So today I have six eye creams that I have been kind of blown away by. Now I'm not saying that you need all six of these by no means. What I want you to do is look at these and decide what might fit your particular needs. You might have bags around your eyes. You might have the need to slough off the skin or turn over the skin. You might have that crepiness, the wrinkles, whatever you have. And I have found that these are very effective ingredients. I will trade these off, but I have found that I am in love with just about all of them for different reasons. Now, keep now, in mind that I do have a numbering system. Number will come up that corresponds to the product. Go down into the description box. All the link and the information on it will be listed down there so that you can shop very easily. And I will also get to what I have on at the end of the video. If all right, let's start out with the one that I feel like started me on getting the best skin I could po possibly get at my age around my eyes. I've been talking to you guys about it for years. Suko Yakasuhara Urea Eye Cream. This is probably the best moisturizer I've ever used in my whole entire life, eye cream. And it is so hydrating that I can put it on in the morning and by the end of the day, I still feel that my eyes are very hydrated. And I know I'm going to get some of you go, oh, urea, it's in urine. There is urea in actual urine, but this product does not come from urine. It is produced in a lab to mimic the properties that urea has. What are those properties? Number one, super moisturization. You probably will not find another ingredient out there that moisturizes the way that urea does. Number two, it has this means to very, very gently and very slightly exfoliate around the eyes. There are not many products that we can trust and put around our eyes and make sure that it's safe. This is it. So this is my very last step before SPF around my eyes and moisturizing them. I actually do use this all the way around my lips to plump that area up too. This is probably my jillionth tube and I've been using this forever and talking to you guys about it. So that is no surprise, but I think the other ones might be. In my last video, I also talked about Alpha Skincare and how the glycolic lotion I've been using for years on my feet and there's no other like it for gently turning over that skin and hyper moisturizing that skin and this one right here is alpha skincare real results for lines and wrinkles intensive renewal serum 14 percent glycolic acid now why in the world would you want to put an acid around your eyes again this does the tiny bit of skin cell turnover this does a whole lot better and so I will use this probably three times a week and it's just a serum. So it's kind of runny. I can show it to you. It's kind of runny, but it penetrates the skin very quickly. So I'll just take a little bit in between my fingers and I'll go all the way around my eyes, clear up to the eyebrows. And it does such a good job at gently turning over that skin. Now, as I am rubbing it in right here on my hand, I feel that moisturization. And I love that, that you can get that little bit of sloughing of the skin, but at the same time, get that hyper moisturization and not be irritating your eyes. You might need to test how often you can use it. Maybe start out with once or twice a week and then build up. You might be somebody that can use it every day. I, it just depends on how your skin now, is. Now also minus. from Alpha Skin Care is this 15% retinol cream. This says, Real results for lines and wrinkles again, enhanced wrinkle repair cream. Now retinol we know is not the same as Retin-A. It's two steps away from Retin-A down the chain there on effectiveness. I can never, ever, ever put Trentinoin around my eyes. I've tried for years. It just ends up being so harsh on my eyes. Even when I used the very least strength, which is 0 0.025, I couldn't use that. And so when I found this that has the retinol in it, but it's an intensive product that you can still dab around your eyes, bonus. So using 15% retinol is really going to help build collagen. That's what happens when we get those wrinkles and those, you know, really bad creases and crinkly skin up there, crepey skin is the fact that we don't build enough collagen like when we were younger. So we wanna help it as much as we possibly can with a cream like this. This one, this one yeah. was sent to me from Youth to the People. And this is Peptides Plus C Energy Eye Concentrate 
brighten and smooth and depuff. And I really love this one. Not only does it give you the protection of an antioxidant with the vitamin C, but you get the peptides and peptides are building blocks of collagen. So if you're wanting to, you know, use anything but retinol or tretinoin, you want to be using some peptides. It's a serum, so it's very light and it's just patting it around the eye. I really love that this has the ability to brighten because the dark circles that can be a really huge concern for a lot of us. I have the dark circles from hell, so we have to be looking at that as well. So really like that one. Now this is a tube of Benton Snail Bee Eye Cream, and this is for moisturization only. Um, it does help, you know, smooth everything out because you're getting hyper moisturized. So if you are not interested in the Suko Yaka, you could definitely use something like this. The Suko Yaka would be something that I would use with every single eye cream here because those are all treatments. This is your moisturizer and you're wanting to definitely moisturize. Now this one is a moisturizer as well, but why I brought this one out, so I'll list this one down below, but why I brought this one out is because I wanted to remind myself to talk about the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. Now the product is Bifida Galactomyces and I believe Niacinamide in there and it is such a good triple threat to wrinkles and brightening because the bifida and the galactomyces are fermentation processes that you find in Estee Lauder Night Repair and Lancome Genifique and everybody touts those as being fantastic but they have such a very small fraction of those two ingredients in there. Personally, I know that's why they don't list it in the title. These ingredients are huge for brightening and softening and smoothing. They discovered these fermentation processes by working with wine and working with things that ferment like beer way, way back before there was any sanitary concerns and you had to wear gloves, you worked with your hands and the hands were exposed. And so it was taking care of the hands and it was rejuvenating them and making them look very, very young. The Benton Fermentation Eye Cream is all about the smoothing and the antioxidants in it. The last one that I wanna share with you is from number seven. This is very newly on the market. This is Future Renew Damage Reversal Eye Serum targets visible signs of skin damage. Okay, they just came out with three of these products in the um, Future Renew line. And I, they sent me this one, they sent me the serum, and they sent me the cream and i'm really impressed this has gone through dermatology studies there has been tons of trial studies where they're giving these women this line with the ingredients in it and they all felt like it really did help firm around the eyes so if your problem is you know loose sagging skin around the eyes it may be causing bags or that kind of thing this might be perfect for you this also has the capacity to take care of the dark circles the crepiness i think that this one is like the all-around one so if you're wanting all kinds of benefits try the the number seven future renewal this is the eye cream and then try the sukoyaka on top of it and that's what i would do i wouldn't buy all of these by any means but i would pick one and that you really like the sound of it, it kind of resonates with you, go in, do your research on that particular one and see whether or not you feel like it's gonna give you those benefits. This one from number seven is really, really good. Really good. You know, and normally I'm going all for Korean or Japanese skincare, and this one is obviously made in the UK, and the line is fantastic anyway. They're always doing research about how they can have better efficacy of their products and I feel like this one is a really, really good one. Since I've incorporated so many of these different creams, I swear that my eyes have reversed in aging 10 years. I do this stacking of skincare where you do, you know, different products on different nights and you hold to that so that your skin is getting the most benefits. So at night, I probably use three products around my eyes. In the daytime, I probably use two because of the makeup that's going on around my eyes. And, you know, too many layers is just going to make for creasing. Okay, let's take a second and look and see what I have on. All right, so the top that I have on is a navy blue cold shoulder cutout with a little flounce sleeve that's a half sleeve. So cute. Now, I have mine tucked in, but it does come down to skim the bottom of the butt 
just hits the thighs. It's a great length if you're trying to hide a tummy at all. Also, these jeans, I've talked about a million times. They're my favorite jeans. They're super duper stretchy. If you are a person that is always in between sizes, uh, you're a half size on you know jeans, I would size down on these because of how stretchy they are. The belt is a grommet belt, and this belt comes with another one that is black. And I just think it's so dang cute. The earrings that I have on are the prettiest hoops. They just look like a little braid there. And then they just have some little rhinestones. Beautiful little heart dainty necklace. This one is in silver too. And the chain is split and then the heart just sits right there in the middle. And then this is a pretty just accent necklace, serpentine in silver. And I just thought that it matched the braid on these earrings. So that's what I have on. If you're interested in the makeup, that will all be listed below as well. Now, you have to tell me, do you have an eye cream that you just adore? I know that you do. Some of you have told me about some in the past and I've completely spaced them off, but now I'm ready. All the information, bring it on. I want to know about your eye creams or what you use around your eyes as treatments. I love to get input from you guys. It just helps me out and makes my day. Hope that you're all happy, healthy. Please come and see me again really soon. And smash that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Don't forget to give me a like. All of those things help me out with my channel and keep it growing. And I appreciate every one of you so very much. Love you much, guys. Goodbye.